Hey, how is it going guys? So today I'd like to show you a quick video on how to install and properly launch a video game called Memoria by Dede Aelic. It's an adventure point and click game and I already installed and launched the game. If you have no idea how to use Wine and how to install Steam and how to install a single Steam game, Check a link in the description. I will leave a link where I did some tutorial. I also did a post on my blog. So as I said, I already installed the game. And uh, before you you launch for the first time, you want to you want to go and to the main game directory because you have to modify something. Okay, the game needs I think three softwares to a VC run version and one .NET and you want to modify the .NET file so that it doesn't get installed. Okay, so I'll show you, you want to change directory. By the way, you can do everything with a graphical file manager, you know, I'm just using the terminal because that's what I'm used to. Oop, memoria, drive C, Steam library, Steam apps common memoria and then common redist and here you have .NET. Okay, you want to change directory here. LS, okay, yeah, also go 3.5. As you can see I already I already rename this file to dot back so that it is now a backup file. So what's happened, once you rename and you start the game for the first time, it will try to go to, to actually run this script that it tells the game to install .NET, but it won't find the file because it's renamed. So to rename it, you can just press, uh, this is actually from the terminal, the command, the move, uh, command so the file will be called .NET and you can rename to .NET uh, .x .back for a backup file you can do the same with your file manager just right click and select rename or select the icon and press F2 should work alright after you do that you will able to run the game okay so to, you are able to play Memoria, but you won't be able to to run the conf the game's configuration tool. You know to set the resolution and this and that. This is no big deal since the game run uh, out of the box at 1080p, or at least that was happened. What happened with me? But if you want to actually use this configuration tool, you can install .NET, all right, but you won't install 3.5, which doesn't install properly, okay, it's a pain in the .NET, this is the worst thing to install on a wine prefix, .NET 3.5, that's absolutely the most uh, problematic software that you have uh, on wine tricks, let's say, but you can install .NET where is it? Yeah, .NET Fire 5.0, no, 4.0, sorry. To do so, just select the wine prefix. So, yeah, memory wine prefix, wine tricks, dash Q. So, it's quiet, so it accepts everything that the installer asks you. And then .NET uh, yeah, 40, .NET 40, 4.0. Okay, once you did that, you are able also to run the the configuration tool as you can see here it's set full screen if you if it does if it isn't set full screen select the window size additional effect level here yeah just a configuration tool nothing crazy and after that or actually you, you can play the game anyway you don't need .NET to to play the game .NET is just for that small uh, menu small configuration tool I already posted a video on YouTube and as you can see the game runs pretty fine. You can resume it. Yeah. 
Here I am. Stay away from the Guardian, Princess. Even your detached limbs still have some life in them. That's it. So I hope this video was helpful. As you can see, the game runs okay, no problems at all. And another thing, if you forgot to to rename .NET and the actual installation started, you may want to use uh, a tool like uh, HTOP or a Task Manager because the .NET 3.5 installation it tends to hang on the system. All right tends to be there until you close as you can see also here also .NET 4.0 do the same it ten tends to stay there and continue try to install try to do this try to do that so be sure that if the installation started be sure to kill it or to close the every every wine uh, every every windows that you open this is a problem with .NET 3.5, so absolutely try to avoid it as much as possible. Alright, I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.